good evening one and all i major sahil stand here in this forum in strong support of today topic that terrorism and militancy can be effectively tackled while observing human rights at the outset i would like to quote the words of former un high commissioner for human rights late sergio de mello and i quote the best and the only way to defeat and isolate terrorism is by fostering social justice empowering democracy and respecting human rights unquote his words clearly define that respect for human rights is the foundation for freedom justice and peace gentlemen everything on this earth has either a value or a sanctity the one with value can always be compared but the one with sanctity cannot be similar are the human rights fundamental rights and laws do give a human being right to life but human rights human rights make it right to life with dignity unraveling the world history you will find numerous example where merely by adopting a humanitarian approach situations were turned the conflict prevention and early warning mechanism being adopted by the countries of west africa which instead of creating strong armies focused on developing education boosting livelihood resource allocation has helped them in upliftment of 15 out of 17 countries from a total chaos to peace there are numerous such examples but seems like my fellow opponents particularly today have decided to be selectively ignorant of the realities gentlemen the point which i want to make here is that i agree with the point of my opponent that terrorism and militancy cannot cannot survive without the overt and covert support of the locals i would like to elaborate this point by stating the mao's theory of irregular warfare which states that a gorilla must move within people like a fish swims in a sea it is not only that bad fish that has to be eradicated but also more importantly this water has to be made non conducive for this fish to survive and that can only be done by addressing human rights in a holistic manner government has this realization that human rights and development are in a interlinking relationship government has taken many initiatives in understanding the problems and requirements of the people of these disturbed areas which ultimately has addressed the issue of militancy and terrorism imposition of inner line permit in northeastern states creation of northeastern council lifting of afspa soft surrender policies these all has helped in many ways in making the life of the people of these states good in a number of ways the insurgency related incidents in these areas have down by 85% the fatality rate has gone down by 96% and the cadre strength of the major insurgents group have gone down by 50% ulfa as of today's date is left with only 200 of its cadres similar confidence building measures in jnk have given drastic results with terror initiated incidents going down by 28% men most importantly local boys joining militancy has seen a decline of 40% and net infiltration getting reduced by 43% government by addressing these issues in the right direction has made that water non conducive for this bad fish to flourish in 2018 when the young budding footballer majid khan from valley joined terrorism the approach of government and security forces in propagating his mother's emotional appeal for his son to return is a very classic example of a humanitarian approach taken by a government rather than killing him which otherwise would have been an easy option <laughs> gentlemen the cause and call of human rights is so precious that it cannot be com compromised under any circumstances i agree that with the use of blunt force you can achieve temporary peace but the lasting peace will remain illusionary if human rights are not given its due importance this not only requires wide awareness but more than that it requires inculcation of human right attitude and sensitivities amongst the masses i'll rest my words with a scripture of mahabharata sukh dukhe samkrutva labh labho jaya jayo tatho yujhaya yujasva naivam papam vapsyasi fight for the sake of duty treat happiness and distress loss and gain victory and defeat alike fulfilling your responsibility in this way you will never incur sin never ever thank you and jai hind